Hello, citizens of Gotham. You are watching The Political Vigilante. My name is Graham Elwood. Thanks for watching the show because what you guys do when you watch the show, when you support it, when you share the videos, when you listen to the podcast on iTunes, you like, subscribe, hit the subscribe button. YouTube is unsubscribing people and the bell for notifications for when I drop new videos. What you're doing, oh man, you're making Gotham great again. Boom. So I want to talk about this article that came out in People Magazine, the United States named the most dangerous developed country for women to give birth. The link, of course, is in the show notes. This is pretty startling. Again, this is the richest country in the history of the world. With maternity... Maternal mortality rates soaring over the last 30 years, the USA Today investigation deemed the United States the most dangerous place in the developed world to give birth. The richest country in the history of the world. The long-term study led by Allison Young follows similar research conducted by ProPublica and the New York Times and found that more than 50,000 women are severely injured during childbirth each year with an additional 700 women dying. And despite medical advances, the rate of women dying before, during, and after childbirth has more than doubled since the 1990s. Doubled since the 1990s. Weird that since the 1990s, there's been, that's when the wage inequities have gotten, the wealth inequities have gotten larger. CEO salaries are way past what they were in the 50s and 60s and 70s. Weird. It's probably not a correlation. In 21st century America, in the most powerful nation on earth, no woman should ever die from pregnancy and childbirth. Michael Liu, Senior Associate Dean at George Washington University School of Public Health and former director of Federal Maternity and Child Health Bureau, previously told People. It shouldn't happen, not in lower the numbers. No woman should ever die from pregnancy and childbirth in a country this sophisticated with this much money. Shouldn't happen. This stuff <laughs> shouldn't happen. The biggest extremes in quality of maternal care are for women of color and low socioeconomic backgrounds. African American women are three times as likely to die from pregnancy and childbirth compared to white women. A gap we have not been able to close in decades, Lou said. A study in New York City estimated that the rate of life threatening complications would fall by half if African-American women gave birth at the same hospitals as white women. This needs to be addressed at the next women's rally. The next women's march needs to talk about this. Because that's pretty disturbing. That women of color aren't just, they just don't have access to the good hospitals. First of all, every hospital in America should be state in the art. We have the money for that. There's no excuse for that. Everyone should get free health care. Good health care is only for the wealthy. But there's a bright spot and where we can fix some things. The one place in the U.S. where maternal mortality rates have not grown is California where the state has identified these problems with hospital care and made a plan to change it with safety bundles, they're calling it. Safety bundles are best practices, protocols, toolkits, and other resources designed to improve the quality and safety of maternity care by improving the four R's, readiness, recognition, response, and reporting, Lou explained at a congressional briefing on April 19th. Lou and his co-workers started using the safety bundles in hospitals across California and between 2006 and 2012, the overall maternal mortality rates decreased by 64% and 50% for African-American mothers. This should be nationwide. This should not happen in America. It's ridiculous. So... Thank you guys for watching this show and paying attention and getting your media elsewhere. I got a bunch of tour dates coming up. 
Los Angeles, Northern California for the Progressive Comedy Tour. Ron Placone and I are putting together a tour in Florida for the Progressive Comedy Tour in January. We have Orlando already booked. You can get tickets for that. That I believe is January 11th. We're going to book a bunch of shows around that week going all around Florida in January. Please check that out. Go to GrahamElwood.com and please support me on the Patreon so I can grow the channel because YouTube has cut my money. Demonetizing videos that talk about the truth. That's censorship in America. But let's keep investigating Russia. You're helping make Got Them Great Again. Boom.